if you'll just follow me into the vault, we can open up your grandfather-in-law's safe deposit chest. Here it is, sir. The safe deposit chest of H.T. Marley, just as he left it over 20 years ago. Wow, what an amazing collection of junk. Why would Grandpa Marley store garbage like this in a bank? That Governor Marley was an eccentric old soft, wasn't he? <laughs> we were all crushed when he disappeared off the face of the earth like he did. Anyway, well, I've got some loans to turn down. You just let me know when you're done here and I'll come running. Gee, thanks. Well, I guess I better start looking for that deed to the governor's mansion so I can get home to Elaine. Let's see now. Hot water Mr. bottle. Freeport. Monkey what pacifier. Are you doing out here? Oh, 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 I was Jimmy uh, Hoffa. looking for a crow. Do it yourself tattoo kit. Robert a bloody stiletto knife. Is a bottomless mug. Well, well, you really should have called me first. We have rules about leaving the vault unattended. Gee, I'm sorry. I'll go back. And I'll see if I can scrounge up a crow. Wax lips. Wax lips. Ah, there it is. Stick him up! Yikes! Who are you supposed to be? Isn't it obvious? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No, you're not. Well, what makes you say that? Well, for one thing, Guybrush is much better looking than you are. <laughs> and for another, the real Guybrush doesn't smell like anchovy halitosis. Ooh. All right, mate, bucko. That's enough of that. Back away from the Barney heirlooms and be quick about it. Now, Mr. Threepwood, take a good long look at the last face you'll ever see. I knew that deregulated banking would lead to this. The way I pushed that smelly pirate right over the rail. Now that's the stuff of pirates. Mm. I hope the loyal citizens of Manly don't hurt themselves. I mean, you know, all the pushing and shoving on the dock to see my, uh, well, our return. It'd be dangerous. Make sure this one stays on top. Then there was the swab who came at me with the rusty fid. I sure taught him a thing or two about the proper use of deck chairs. Whoa. I got it. The burden of being the governor of such an adoring yet unsophisticated public can be so draining. I'll be lucky if I can get a second to myself for months. You know, we make a great team. The way we communicate, the way we work together, the way we anticipate each other's every move. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Hmm. Oh well, here goes. Might as well get all the hullabaloo over with. What? Wh where is everyone? Maybe everyone went to bed early? Where's the welcoming committee? The banners? The crushing throng of well-wishers? Oh dear, do you know what this means? We can spend another three months honeymooning. Moron! Spaz! Jerk! Idiot! Nimrod! Dark! Why, those, those ignorant anarchist savages! How dare they plot against my benevolent tyranny! Simkins! Wheel out the really big cannon! Do we have to, sir? Our ears are still ringing from the last time. I've had just about enough of your pusillanimous insubordination, Simpkins. Now roll out the really big cannon and blow up those terrorists this instant! Aye, aye, sir. The bronze hat of Tiny Lafitte. And so, my swashbuckling citizens, as we approach the next century, can we really afford to entrust Melee Island's future to a man with no past, a man with no experience, a man who doesn't even seem to like pirates? Common sense says no! My opponent is right. I am a newcomer to these islands. And it's true that my experience in affairs of state is minimal at best. 
But it doesn't take a seventh generation pirate princess to see that Melee Island needs more than a part-time status quo governor. A governor who can't even promise her citizens good times and free grog. Stop, stop it! You, you, you can't be stupid enough to believe that Charles is just gonna give you free grog and good times. Can you? Hi, hey, thanks for coming out to vote. Remember, a vote for me is a vote against Demon Spawn Hell Pirates! Thanks for your support, citizen. Good times and free grog are just around the corner. Don't vote for Charles! He's really LeChuck, the demon zombie ghost pirate from hell! Oh, give it up, Mrs. Threepwood. Everybody knows that LeChuck is dead and that your husband killed him. You'll have to excuse her, Mr. Charles. Think nothing of it, my good man. Ah, ah, there! There, you see? Charles is LeChuck! Look! Well, that should just about wrap things up. I think I'll go pack my bags and get ready to move into the governor's mansion. <laughs> ah, good times, free grog, my pockmarked fanny! You should all be ashamed of yourselves. Don't be looking at me, you mangy mongrel. I voted for Elaine, I did. Well, I certainly didn't vote for that bilge rat, LeChuck. Well, if none of us voted for him, then why is he the governor? And why are we being forced to build this colossal commemorative statue of him in the center of town? Ah, shut up! This is horrible. LeChuck has enslaved my people. It's a good thing my grandfather isn't alive to see this. Why is he making them build that statue? What does that have to do with the ultimate insult? What's happened to Guybrush? What's that smell? Oh, ex-Governor Marley. You're a hard woman to find, you know that? Obviously, not hard enough. You must be Pegnose Pete. Aye. The Governor and Mr. Mandrill have a few questions they'd like to ask you. Gee, you know, I'd like to. But I have to wash my hair for the next seven years. I really must insist. Drat. Hey, what's going on here? Lechuk, you colossal idiots! I order you to cease this at once! Hey, wait a minute! You can't do this to me! I'm Ozzy Mandrel! I'm the future of the Caribbean! I come in! Stop! Don't! Ah! Ew. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Better get out of here before someone finds out what I did. Relax there, son. 
We're going for a little ride. Sure. Pull that lever there, would you? Ride? What do you mean by that? We're taking this giant monkey robot to Melee Island to rescue my granddaughter. Giant monkey robot? Hmm. Are you sure you have all of your memory back? Maybe I should hit you again. Okay, first of all, my real name isn't Herman Toothrot. Really? What is it? I'll get to that. First, let me tell you how I ended up here on Monkey Island. With nothing but a busted accordion, most of the clothes on my back, and a head full of broken memories. Is this gonna take a while? I'm in kind of a hurry. Stow it, Blondie, this is important. Like so many stories, it began some 20 years ago in a bar on the other side of the world. I had been lured out of my peaceful retirement in the Caribbean by the thrill of a dangerous sailing regatta off the coast of Australia. Australia? Wait a minute. Hush up, kid. I'm telling a story here. Sorry. Anyhow, the night before the competition, I was stealing myself for the race with several pitchers of grog when I was joined at the bar by one of the other competitors, an unhappy Australian tycoon with the unlikely name of Ozzy Mandro. No. Yes. The poor guy seemed so sad just because no one would do business with him anymore. Now to cheer him up, I regaled him with stories of my adventures on the untamed Caribbean seas. So you were the one who told Ozzy about the lucrative development opportunities of the Caribbean? Yes, but that's not all. The next day, as I reached the race's halfway point, I'd already forgotten the grog-induced revelries of the night before. Suddenly, I found myself being rammed by another boat, pushed into a freakish whirlpool. It was none other than Ozzy. I hate it when that happens. It gets worse. Yipes. I hadn't just told Ozzy about the wonders of the Caribbean. I'd also told him about all of its terrible voodoo secrets. Secrets that men would kill to possess. I told him about the gate to heck known as Big Whoop. I told him about the unbelievable lineage of the three-headed monkey. Worst of all, I told him about the ultimate insult, the voodoo talisman that could make mice out of men. Remind me to never tell you a secret. Strangely, the whirlpool didn't kill me. Instead, it dropped me and my shattered ship on the other side of the world. By the time I had righted myself, I had no idea who I was or where I came from. I took the name Herman Toothrot after the remaining letters on my accordion, H.T. H.T.? Wait a minute, you're not telling me that you're really... That's right. My real name is Horatio Torquemada Marley. But you can't be Governor Marley. I mean, everyone knows that H.T. Marley died over 20 years ago, off the coast of Australia, in a boat race. Grandpa! Get your thinking hands off of me, you blamed octopus! But sir, we're family. See? I married your granddaughter, Elaine. Oh, that's just wonderful. I finally rid myself of 20 years of amnesia, and the first thing I learned is that my granddaughter has married the sorriest excuse for a pirate in the seven seas. Somebody get me a coconut so I can go back to being blissfully ignorant. This can't be right. I'm afraid it is, Governor. Charles L. Charles' Good Times Free Grog campaign has given him a 23% lead in all the polls. But... Honey, I'm home! Guybrush! Ah, oh, you're back! Yes, and look what I've got. Uh, oh, wait, that's not it. Oh, Guybrush, this is wonderful! Esteban, take these papers down to Melee Town Hall and save my mansion! Guybrush, I am so glad you're back. What took you so long? Well, that's a funny story. It all started when I went looking for the no-nosed pirate. And then Ozzy said, I'm gonna put your shrimp on me, Bobby. After that, I was attacked by an army of koalas. 
And so the lawyers used the Marley Mansion deed to drop the legal papers to save the mansion. And I came back here. Well, seems like the sensible thing to do would be to destroy my grandfather's heirloom so that no one could get their hands on the ultimate insult. Whatever that is. I agree. Got a match? <laughs> Charles, you manipulating weasel. Get out of my house before I stick my piranha poodles on you. Yipes! Now, now, my dear Mrs. Marley. The Reapwood. Is that any way to talk to the next governor of Melee Island? I don't care what the polls say. The pirates of Melee will see through your tissues of false hopes and empty promises. <laughs> the pirates of Melee couldn't see through a window. They can't even see what's right in front of them. What are you talking about? Why, only the biggest lie of them. LeChuck! LeChuck! At your service. Enough of this inane banter. I've got an election to win. <laughs> How do you expect to be elected once I tell everyone you're really LeChuck? Go ahead, tell them. Shout it from the rooftops. It will only ensure my victory. And once I'm elected, I'll use my gubernatorial powers to divine the secrets of the ultimate insult. Huh? You heard me. The ultimate insult. With its unholy power, I'll make the seas run red with the blood of my enemies. I'll bring the forces of hell to the shores of the Caribbean. And I'll finally make Elaine my willing bride. <laughs> Oh yeah? Well, you fight like a cow. Buddy, I'm home. <laughs> LeChuck! That's Governor LeChuck to you, see good. No way! Yes way. Ozzy, I had a feeling you were working for LeChuck. I'm afraid you got it backwards, pirate boy. LeChuck's working for me. Well, that makes me feel better. Governor LeChuck, would you be kind enough to relieve Mr. Threepwood of the pieces to the ultimate insult? Ah, it'd be a pleasure, Mr. Mandrill. Don't do it, LeChuck. He wants to use the ultimate insult to humiliate every pirate on the face of the earth. And? You know? Oh, of course he knows, you sloth-brained pile of kookaburra droppings. But why, LeChuck? Why would a swashbuckling, albeit demonically evil, pirate like yourself willingly aid in the mass emasculation of your fellow buccaneers? Well, that's a long story, sheep good. Oh, no. But it basically boils down to two reasons. First of all, this mandrill scallywag pulled me out from under that mountain of ice that you left me under. And LeChuck always repays his debts. Fine, you owe the guy, but why go along with this plan to irreversibly insult all the pirates? Because, you seafaring scum weasel, when we succeed in breaking the fighting spirit of all the pirates, LeChuck will finally have the one thing he's always wanted in life. Or oh, death, as the case may be. You don't mean... Yes. Elaine Marley's hand in marriage. Um, excuse me. See the ring on this finger? You're a little late, bucko. Well, I think I can fix that. The Chuck, no. We may need him as a hostage. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a hostage. Besides, even if you kill me, Elaine still never marry you. She hates your stinking undead guts. Ah, but that's the beauty of the ultimate insult, Threepwood. Once your wife has been exposed to its hideous, demoralizing power, her fiery pirate spirit will be shattered like so many emu eggs, leaving her compliant, submissive, and obedient. <laughs> In other words, the perfect wife! <laughs> Speaking of perfect wives, where is Elaine? We were hoping you could answer that question, Mr. Threepwood. Your mischievous Sheila went walkabout right after Captain LeChuck was elected governor of this pirate-infested backwater of an island. Good for her. I hope she comes back with an army of pirates and kicks your sorry butts. Are you sure I can't kill him yet? I've left him alive before, and it's always turned out to be a big mistake. I see your point. How about we stow the twerp in an inescapable faraway place where he can't do any harm? Then he'll still be a useful hostage, but he won't be able to affect our plans. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a hellishly good idea! And I know just the place! <laughs> 
From the personal log of Guybrush Threepwood. Sometimes when it's quiet, I can still hear the monkeys. It's hard to believe that it's only been a few years since I first washed up on the beaches of Melee Island, armed with nothing more than a goofy name and an overpowering urge to become a swashbuckling pirate. I want to be a pirate. Who could have suspected that such a humble pursuit would lead me to cross swords with the evil ghost pirate LeChuck, the slimiest slug ever to plunder the Seven Seas? Yeah! Yeah! And who could have guessed that my battles with LeChuck would introduce me to the love of my life, Melee Island's Governor Elaine Marley. Or that my efforts to win Elaine's hand would repeatedly drag me to the mystery-drenched shores of Monkey Island. That's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. Or that I would finally end the scourge of LeChuck, burying him beneath a mountain of ice. Not me, that's for sure. Back then, the only thing duller than my sword was my wit. Now look at me. I'm married to the most beautiful governmental official in the Caribbean. The entire Tri-Island area shudders at the sound of my name. And now my plunder bunny and I are returning to Melee Island after the most incredible honeymoon in the history of- Die, Brush! Uh, yes, dear. Dreaming and make yourself useful! Cakes. Um, hey, Elaine, could you untie me? See that screw. It doesn't fit. Quiet, you. If the nose fits, you must acquit. I've never seen that screw before in my life. Quiet, you. Well, all right then. I guess your name's been cleared. Let's see that leg of yours. Oh, um, right. <laughs> the anklet thingy. Hold on. Maybe I should do a background check on you. Just because you didn't rob the bank doesn't mean you aren't wanted for other more heinous crimes. Hey, he stole a duck! Quiet, Quiet you. you! On the other hand, without the stigma of felonious robbery hanging over your head, you seem pretty harmless. So, off you go. Hey, was that an insult? What's wrong, you reanimated lump of voodoo flotsam? I'll tell you what's wrong. This so-called ultimate insult doesn't work. I tried and locked it against every piece of junk in this accursed hovel, but nothing happens. Ha! <laughs> well, I guess Grandpa was too smart for you diabolical dodos after all. Quiet, you. Grrr. <laughs> What in the name of Adam Smith's invisible hand is that? That? Oh, that's nothing. Just a piece of junk I bought on my honeymoon. Darn! The gubernatorial seal of Melee Island! Of course! 
Let me see that. Well, that seems to have shaved the proverbial dingo. Let's test this bugger out. Ah, pig nose. What? Would you be so good as to stand over there? Look, Mr. High and Mighty Mandrel, I'm getting awfully tired of following orders. I think it's about time we renegotiated the terms of my employment. Or what? Or I'll fill your belly full of lead, you sissified fossil! No one messes with Pink Nose the Pirate and lives to tell the tale! Why, I'll rip off your arms and I'll beat you! You were saying? Please, please don't hurt me, Mr. Mandrel! I'll do whatever you say from now on, I promise! Take a long walk off a short pier, you craven wretch! <laughs> Righto, sir! Well, Mrs. Threepwood, it seems as though the power of the ultimate insult is finally mine. <laughs> oh, let me use it on Elaine. All in due time, Captain. But first, let's give her a taste of things to come. Ah, you're a sadist after my own blackened lump of a heart, Mandrill. For years, the Caribbean has been buffeted by the unpredictable winds of runaway piracy. Now, by the power of the ultimate insult, I hereby banish those chaotic tempests and usher in a new age of orderly consumerism. I am Ozymandrel. Look upon my works, ye mighty pirates, and despair! No! Where's the kaboom? They're supposed to be a Caribbean shattering kaboom! Work, damn your eyes! Work! I knew this ridiculous plan would never succeed. I guess this just goes to show that you should never send an Australian girly man to do the work of a real pirate. Lechuk, get back here and help me fix this thing. Oh, Ozzy. You two stay here and guard the robot. Good luck. Try not to break any of my stuff. Nice kid, but about as sharp as a soggy pancake. You know what I mean? Tell me about it. I'll show that chum bucket of panty waste some real voodoo. Honey, I'm home. <clears throat> Guybrush, look out for... The ultimate insult. Oh, I don't know how you dimwits managed to sabotage my magnificent insult amplification apparatus, but I'll at least have the satisfaction of annihilating your arrogant pirate souls. Somehow, I always knew it would end like this. Really? Prepare to meet your doom, Three Puds. What the didgeridoo is that? Hey, let's get out of here. You won't escape that easy, you swashbuckling ninnies. Right, Barrier Reef! Ah, ye be looking like ants from up here. Guybrush? Yes? Am I the only one seeing a giant walking statue of LeChuck on our front lawn? Uh, no. Guybrush, don't you dare leave me! Don't worry, my beloved. Guybrush isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Let go of me, you rock brain monstrosity! You insignificant mortal flea! How dare you wield your pathetic voodoo magics against the immortal might of the demon pirate Nechuk! I'll grind your bones to make me grog, you triple timing bastard! Ah, oh, shut up! How may I serve you, master? 
Well, eventually, I'll be wanting you to squish every pirate on the face of the planet into a sticky red goo. But for now, let's just kill Guybrush Threeprod! <laughs> Oh. Come on, guys! We've got to get this giant monkey robot moving now! Where's my granddaughter? Actually, that's kind of a funny story. Freepod! Where did you find that ridiculous-looking contraption? It was a present from H.T. Marley. Grandpa? I'm in here, dear! Well, what an unexpected family reunion! Too bad I have to ruin it by savaging your puny minds with the power of the ultimate insult! Now what? Now is your undoing, evil one! Now is the time foretold in the ancient prophecies of Monkey Island! Now is the time for the ultimate in... Monkey Combat!